Hello, we are going to be reading Dinosaur Stomp, the Triceratops. And this is the Triceratops, and we know this because they had three, let's count that, one, two, three, good counting, three horns on their head, and this dinosaur has one, two, three horns on its head. So let's begin. But before we do, he's called Dinosaur Stomp. I know sometimes when I get a little bit grumpy, I stomp about. I wonder whether this dinosaur's a little bit grumpy. Let's find out. Ooh, let's turn the page. Deep in the rainforest, far from the swamp, there lived a grumpy triceratops called Dinosaur Stomp. Let's stomp again. He wasn't a creature who wanted to play. If anyone tried, he would chase them away. And look here, he's chasing the Ankylosaurus, this dinosaur, away. Dinosaur honk, 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 <laughs> was too noisy by far. The Parasaurolophus honked like a car. Whoa, I bet that was really loud. Stomped lowered his horns on his huge free head and charged like a rhino until poor Honk fled, she ran away. Dinosaur whiz, whiz, <laughs> dinosaur whiz drove him totally crazy. The speedy um, Colphysis thought he was lazy. She ran rings around him, but then to her shock, he charged and she raced off and hid behind a rock. But no one annoyed him like Dinosaur Bash. The Ankylosaurus arrived with a crash and a smash as he thrashed with his terrible tail like a huge heavy hammer attacking a nail. So it's a bit like his tail was like a massive hammer attacking a nail. Dinosaur Stomp lost his temper at this. His bristles went stiff and he charged with a hiss. But ouch! Something hit him. He gave out a sharp cry. Ow! The stone bash was smashing through grit in his eye. So if you have a look here, bash is smashing this stone and a little bit, a little piece of grit went into the Triceratops' eye. Stomp couldn't see. He felt helpless and sad. Now he'd frightened away all the friends that he had. So if you look, he's all alone now because he'd frightened his friends away. Uh oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, phew. All except one little dinosaur squeak. <coughs> she was frightened of no one and patted his beak. The small Compsognathus removed the sharp stone, for once was glad that he wasn't alone. Can you see there, the little Compsognathus, the, this little dinosaur, helped him by removing the stone. With no grit in his eye, he could see in the end. There were times when a Triceratops needed a friend. And I love this bit at the end, because actually all his friends came round. They were clearly very forgiving, very sweet friends. Ooh, this is super cool. There's a little extra big bit in this book. So at the front, it's a storybook, a fiction book, but at the back, it has facts in. So these things that are actually real, um, and that's called um, non-fiction, so it's not made up. I'm gonna bring the book a little bit closer to you so you can see this, and I am going to read some of the facts to you. Now I like this one, so I'm gonna show you this one. Can you see this here? This says that the Triceratops had a beak at the end of its nose. So this is the beak at the end of its nose. Um, and it was a bit like, um, like, it was just like a parrot actually. And then this bit, we know this fact already. The Triceratops means three horned face because it had those three horns on it. Now I'm gonna save you my two favorite facts. My second favorite fact actually is this one. And it says that Triceratops had feet like an elephant. And that's really true when you see that it's just like an elephant's feet. And this one is my absolute 
favourite fact about a triceratops. It says that triceratops, a triceratops' head was the size of a small car. I just think that's absolutely amazing to think how big a triceratops was. Now, I hope you enjoyed the story and the facts as much as me. Take care. Bye-bye.